Hi, my name is Mike Larson. I am the cluster representative principal for the Pleasant Grove cluster. The Pleasant Grove cluster includes nine schools, Pleasant Grove High School, Pleasant Grove Junior High, Central Elementary, Grovecrest Elementary, Linden Elementary, Manila Elementary, Mount Mahogany Elementary, Rocky Mountain Elementary, and Valley View Elementary. As a cluster, we meet regularly to discuss how our students are doing, what we're doing in our schools, what's working, what's not working, and any ideas to try and bring us together. Uh, Pleasant Grove is a wonderful place to be. We have a great community support uh, and our students are amazing. At Pleasant Grove High School this year, they've really tried to focus on engaging students with their learning. Teachers have been tasked with making their classes meaningful right from the start of the day. And with that increased focus on the beginning of class, they're seeing increased attendance. Students are getting to class more regularly on time. This is leading to higher student achievement and better learning. At Pleasant Grove Junior High School this year, they're focusing on building stronger relationship with their students through helping them know what their learning is all about. When students know what they're learning, why they're learning it, and what they're supposed to do with that knowledge, it really increases the connection that they make with their class. Teachers are finding a lot of success through helping their students know what they're learning. At Central Elementary School this year, they created a student success room where instead of students getting traditional prizes or treats uh, to incentivize behavior, uh, they get to participate in games and activities that are a lot more rewarding. Also, their teachers have been rotating through the classes to teach their monthly character ed lessons. This fosters a relationship with every teacher and every student, and so they are all becoming one big family at Central. Here at Grovecrest, we're working to create and deepen our community relationships with everyone under the G. Our Kindness Club does a great job of creating activities and opportunities for students to show kindness here at school and at home. Our Grizzly Greeters meet people as they come to the school and welcome them. This fosters such a warm and caring atmosphere as people come to Grovecrest. We love all of the great things that are happening here and we love being a part of the PG community here under the G. This year, Linden Elementary School is focusing on student connections and student achievement growth. They are home to an ALL program in their fourth, fifth, and sixth grades, and they also have one of the coolest school gardens. At Manila Elementary, they are committed to achieving high levels of learning for all students by focusing on their essential standards and creating extensions for accelerated students. They also try and get interventions right for the students that may need extra help. They are also definitely committed to the Alpine District mission, vision, and values. Mel Mahogany students are learning to climb higher through focusing on being respectful, accountable, motivated, strong, and kind. Students work really hard to choose kindness each and every day and apply those principles to climb higher. Rocky Mountain Elementary School is creating a new positive behavior intervention plan this year for their whole school. Students are encouraged to be responsible, mindful, encouraging, and safe. Through this Cougar Code, students can earn prizes and tickets. They are also very committed to the idea that all students can learn at deep levels. Valley View Elementary School has focused a lot on their community relations this year. Their Kindness Club helps students choose kindness each and every day. And their Hawk Squad does acts of service and provides opportunities at recess for students to participate in different games and activities. I love coming to school. I get to see my friends. I get to learn new things every day. Um, I get to do all the things that I need to and I'm not bored sitting at home doing, just sitting around. What I like about Dr. O is that she tells her stories and it's really cool. Um, she tells us like what she did in China and all the cool things. My favorite thing about the Kindness Club is that we all got uh, these like little rocks. We painted them and then like put our name. We did like big words to make you feel good inside and we put them across the trail. It's really cool. One of the really great things about Pleasant Grove, um, the PTA cluster and also all the schools that are a part of Pleasant Grove and that feed into Pleasant Grove High School is that we really focus a lot on our community as Pleasant Grove. We work together to create activities that will 
benefit all of the students, not only in elementary and junior high, but also up through high school. There's some collaboration that happens. We have parents that are involved uh, in all areas of um, volunteering at the schools, whether it's PTA or SEC, and they're involved at both elementary, junior high, and high school levels. Because of that, we have um, some collaboration. If we have issues at an elementary school, um, maybe parents or teachers at the high school can help out with that and give information that can be of benefit to those students. Um, one of the great things about the teachers of Pleasant Grove is they're super involved with all students, not just their students. Um, they're interested in their students that they'll be receiving and also the, their students that have, have gone on and, and, and progressed. It's been interesting throughout the community I've seen teachers at sporting events of their students. Uh, outside of their school time. They're interested in their students and what's happening. They also are concerned about issues that students might be having before they, they come to them. And I have received information from teachers at the high school to help students at an elementary level with literacy. And it's been, really, it's been a really cool thing. Um, there's a great collaboration with the high school and surrounding schools and the community of Pleasant Grove, the city of Pleasant Grove. There are a couple of programs that are very unique to Pleasant Grove. Um, we have PG Cares Coalition, which ha was started by uh, an SEC PTA parent in the community who saw a need for mental health help for uh, the youth of Pleasant Grove. As such, she sought out a grant and created a coalition that has been supported by the city and is integral in helping all schools in the Pleasant Grove area with Red Ribbon Weeks, um, providing resources to help students with their mental health. The PG Cares Coalition is staffed and run by concerned parents who are also involved in SCCs and PTAs throughout the schools. So they have, they can kind of take the pulse of what is happening in the schools and with the youth of Pleasant Grove and can come back and try to find solutions that will, that will help them um, deal with those, those problems. Not only does the community support the high school, the high school supports the community. When you go to Strawberry Days uh, Parade, you'll see more clubs and um, high school students in that parade than, than any other I've ever been to. It's really a collaborative um, effort. Um, another program that is really awesome in Pleasant Grove is Choose Kindness Pleasant Grove, and that was, that was created by um, some PTA and SCC moms that saw a need to increase the kindness in Pleasant Grove. And so they created a nonprofit along with the Jimmer Fredette Foundation and um, have created curriculum that can be used in schools to foster kindness among all of our students. The, the high school has its own Choose Kindness Club and it has taken off and is doing, doing wonderful things in our community. I really like Hope Squad. I just really like how it's, you know, it's just kind of a safe environment. Um, we talk a lot about how you never know what someone's going through in their, you know, day. It's like everyone has hard times. It's just the way it is. So just be, you know, mindful of the people that are around you and the things you say and how that can affect certain people. So previously, we, we go to uh, other elementary schools and just hang out with the kids during their recess. And their recess lines up pretty well with uh, our schedule. I think a lot about the Pleasant Grove community, right? Um, my parents aren't from here, right? So they don't have, I guess, as much connection, but there are, you know, like uh, a lot of families that are very kind to us and especially, you know, like our neighborhood and everything. And uh, yeah, I just, I love it. It's awesome. The schools in PG Cluster are working really hard to foster deeper community relationships. Our community is amazing and is involved in our schools in so many ways, thanks to the PG Cares Coalition and all the work that they do. Thank you for trusting us in our stewardship to work with your students. We appreciate it each and every day that we get to come to school.